It's a fun little coincidence that COVID has happened during a time of seemingly ubiquitous social media use. Everyone and their dog has got an account on some platform or another. And while social media has made for a wonderful way of keeping in contact with people all over the world, it's come with some widespread issues. Social media platforms are designed to value engagement, but not accuracy. This means any content shared doesn't need to be true or helpful to reach a large audience. It just has to strike a chord with people. As a result, there's a lot of crap floating around out there, and plenty of it is about COVID. So let's learn how to spot misinformation and disinformation, and learn where we can get facts that hold water. Misinformation is untrue information. Disinformation is a special breed of misinformation that is intentionally misleading. In dealing with mis- and disinformation, we need to learn about sheep. Or source, history, evidence, emotion, and picture. Source. Where is the article coming from, or who has made the media you're consuming? If what you're reading is from a reputable news outlet, there's a good chance that professional, standards-based journalists have looked over the piece to make sure that there are no glaring errors or misleading statements. Whereas, if your news is coming from supertruthnolies.com, your information is more likely to be biased and probably not fact-checked. History. What kind of stories does your source frequently promote? What information is there on the outlet's values? Is it always attacking one side of the debate or promoting another? Does it focus constantly on one issue? These can all be signs that a source is trying to push an agenda by cherry-picking stories that point in one direction. Evidence. Look into the evidence or details behind what you're seeing. Be it a news article, a meme, a tweet. How is it substantiated? Where's the information coming from? Check your sources. I know it sounds like a hassle, but it's absolutely worth it. And keep in mind that sources can be faked and falsified too. Emotion. Does your source rely heavily on an emotional appeal? Is it using inflammatory language or a sensational headline? A classic example being something along the lines of, morticians hate this man. Use this one simple trick for a flawless home cremation. Pictures. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, it's certainly far more attention grabbing. It's always good to do a reverse image search when something seems off. Just go to Google Images and drop in the picture that you intend to scrutinize. Google will give you a list of all the places that picture has been previously found. From there, you can figure out whether or not your picture is being misused. But even before you do that, there are easier warning signs to spot. Any obvious editing should raise suspicion immediately. If you've seen any content that's made you have a particularly strong emotional reaction, or if it just seems suspicious, I highly suggest you give it the sheep treatment. Since we're talking about COVID, it's always good to go back to trusted authorities on health. Places like the Minnesota Department of Health, the Centers for Disease Control, or the World Health Organization. You can fact check any information you see using these sources. Hopefully you found this useful. I can't tell you what to think or do, but I can give you the tools to spot misinformation and keep well informed. Thanks for sticking around and joining me on this series. It's been fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed the videos. Please share them around if you like. Well then, that's it. Time for me to crawl back into the freezer and wait for them to thaw me out again to make another round of videos for you. Until then, be nice, stay safe, and I'll see you around.